So I'm just going to show you how I make some of my sounds for the tracks I have for this project, sound design project it's called. Some people are going to hate my desktop. <clears throat> Should we close some of those windows? So, right. Anyway, this is called um, Chaotica and it's um, an application that creates image, well, visualizations of data, pretty much, to, to put it simply. And what I can do with this is I can create my own or I can just use one of theirs. So I'll just show you quickly. Here are some of their visuals. So if I use, say, this one, click on it, loads it up, bring it back down to scale. Um, and I can change the color nodes, how many colors are in there, palette, I've got a different palette, colors, different colors make different sounds. So if I go into selectors and I find something that's like a little bit darker, it might make a different sound. Um, you can also transform it and change it like in different ways. Like, so if I was to, if you can see this one here, if I was to um, change it manually, I'd use this or the um, world editor, which changes like each color on here. So if I twist this, I'm like, I'll move it a little bit. Sure, it looks like so the twist that it changes. It changes the, the way of the um, visual, and you can zoom in and zoom out and stuff like that, and make animations. But what we're going to do is just make an image. So I'll save that. Um, spiral, and I'll put it on my desktop. Saves that. Pop it over here. Now I'm using Audacity to take this image here and put it through um, into into like raw data and then making it into a sound. So if I t change this, if I export this into a, a TIFF file, <clears throat> if I go into export and change the format to a TIFF, put it back into the desktop, and here it is again, let's get rid of that one as a TIFF file. I've got other ones here I've made, red ones. They all have different sounds. So this one here, if I import it <clears throat> using raw data, and I go into where the images are, spiral. And I change the hertz, <clears throat> usually for 44,000 is a bit slow, so you change it into something that's like, So maybe like 120,000 and see how that goes. Probably make a big clip. Anyway, this is the sound it creates. So you get it, it's pretty like rough. You can change that up and make it even quicker. All right, so now the chance sounds a bit different. Um, and then you can do other things to it. I can change it. So now I'll just mute that and I'll put on a different looking sound, um, image and color. Holy shit, it's like an earthquake. Um, so if I go new TIFF, we go change that to like 36,000 or whatever it was. Anyway, so that's pretty cool. So what I'll do is I'll export that and um, as an MP3 and put it on the desktop. There it is there. Right, um, 
then I can go into logic. And I can load it in. So if I have it's coming down. Okay. Here we go. A little bit going on. So if I go and import oh. no. make a new track, open library. And I pull it in. This spiral. I can use it in my tracks as sounds and manipulate them even more. So I have this out in here. Put the beep in. So you can change it up obviously into a sound. And so now I have projects that I've made with different sounds, manipulating them and I've made stuff like this. Importing other sounds from space and stuff like that. Wait. Uh -huh.